Good morning. Happy Wednesday. I am currently, as always, in the dark in my car at boot camp. It is Monday that I'm filming today's video, so it's my first day back to boot camp. When I pulled in the parking lot, nobody's here, which is kind of strange because it's four minutes before boot camp starts. I'm hoping that there's boot camp today after Easter. I'm filming this the Monday after Easter. I guess worst case scenario, I go to the gym if there's no boot camp, but that's really weird because nobody's here, which is kind of uncommon. So we shall see where the day takes us. But I did have about half of my protein coffee this morning while I worked on my computer a bit before heading out to boot camp. I always need a little bit of coffee before I work out. It's just, it's a requirement. I'll finish that when I get home. We have a busy day today. So if you're excited for what I eat in a day, give this video a thumbs up. Again, subscribe if you're not. I would love to have you here. And don't forget to check out the description box down below for nutrition coaching, for personalized macros and calories, one-on-one -on -one coaching, I'll link everything I share with you in today's video as always. And don't forget, come on over, join our Facebook group. We'd love to have you. So I guess I'm going to wait a few more minutes, see if who shows up. And if boot camp is not happening today, I am going to head to the gym to get this morning's workout in. Dedication, consistency is key. Good morning and an official welcome to today's What I Eat in a Day. I actually just got home from boot camp, got ready for the day, just finishing up my protein coffee, and then I'm going to head into the kitchen and we'll make some breakfast. But I wanted to share my OOTD or my outfit of the day with you. My entire outfit is from a clothing brand that I recently discovered called S. Dear, and let me tell you how fun and trendy their clothing is. You know that I love a good, high quality staple piece for my wardrobe, something that I can wear long term that doesn't break the bank. And I've been getting into a little bit more trendy, fun clothes as I've continued to lose weight. So when I discovered S Dear, I immediately had so much fun shopping on their website, picking out a few staple pieces to add to my collection. I ended up purchasing five pieces is from the S Deer line, starting with this adorable top that I'm wearing today. This is the ruffled round neck chiffon shirt. It comes in the color black and is in sizes small through extra large. Now I picked mine up in an extra large. I will tell you right out of the gate, their clothing runs small. I normally wear a medium or a large and they let me know that their clothing sizes do run on the small side. So go ahead and size up for everything on their website. So I did pick up an extra large and this fits me perfectly. I really like the ruffle detail on the sleeves and I love that it has this flouncy design. So it conceals the stomach area and the back area. And you know that the back area is a problem for me and it does cinch in at the waist so it does create that really beautiful sleek silhouette. It is very, very high quality and very, very comfortable. This is a piece that you can dress up, you can dress down. I love the ruffle, the ruffled neck. It does have a zip closure in the back and like I said, the quality is exceptional. So I decided to pair them with these fun camo pants. I used to live in camo when I lived in Washington and I ended up having to get rid of all of my camo pieces because they just didn't fit me anymore. So I wanted a nice solid staple piece to add to my collection, to add to my wardrobe. So these are the personalized mid-waist camouflage cargo pants. They do have a waist cinch pockets and they come with a belt. They come in the color I have here, which is dark gray green in sizes small through extra large. Now, again, I did pick up an extra large. I'm glad that I did. They fit me perfectly and I am able to cinch the waist in a little bit with the, with the belt that's included with the pants. They're a really, really lightweight material. I love the cargo style pockets and how they cinch in at the ankle. They are more of a cropped pants. So they are perfect as we move in to spring and summer. I'm pairing it with this fun, a little bit more dressy shirt. So it goes to show that this shirt is very versatile. You could pair it with something a little less dressy like these fun camo pants, or you can pair it with a pair of pants that's a little bit more dressy or even a skirt. Speaking of a little bit more dressy pants, let me tell you how incredibly comfortable these next pants are. They felt like I was wearing pajamas and they are so sleek, so fun, so trendy. These are the casual elastic waistband zippered cuff sport black long pants. They come in black, sizes small through extra large. Of course, I ordered mine 
in an extra large and they fit me perfectly. I probably could have even got a large in these. They are a little bit more oversized than I would say the rest of their pieces run that I purchased, but I love these. They have an elastic waistband, but they are elevated. It has the front that looks like there's a zipper so they can be a little more on the dressy side. There's pockets in the back, which also add a little bit of class and elegance. And I am obsessed with the bottom of these pants, how they have that silver zipper with that crossover black piece. So trendy and so fun. And like I said, these are so comfortable. I could see myself wearing these all the time. These will definitely be a staple piece. And then I wanted to pick up a skirt. I love a good dress. I love a good skirt. And this black pleated skirt immediately caught my attention on their website. And I thought that this would be perfect as we move into the warmer months. This is the college style double breasted pleated black A-line skirt. It comes in black sizes small through extra large. I got mine in an extra large. And I just have to tell you the quality of this blows my mind. It is so thick. It is double lined. It does have the zipper closure here on the waist and the fun buttons in the front with some faux pockets. This is so cute. It's absolutely adorable. It's long, which I appreciate. It does camouflage a lot of the loose skin on my thighs and the quality. It is so heavy weighted. I think it looks really cute with this top as well. And this is another thing because it's black, it's definitely very, very versatile. I could see myself wearing a more fitted tank top with this in the summer. It's so cute. I'm so glad that I picked it up. And last but not least, I needed a new spring jacket. It is still cool here in Arizona. We have monsoon season where the temperatures drop and it and it rains, and I do not have a single solitary spring jacket. Not a rain jacket, not a spring jacket. So as soon as I saw this one, I loved the pattern, the style, the trendiness of this. This is the hooded short jacket with drawstring letter printed cinched waist. It comes in gray, which is the color I have, sizes small through extra large. Now, I picked mine up in an extra large. It is oversized, probably the most oversized of everything. I definitely could have sized down to a large, but I'm glad that I have the extra large just because it is going to give me a little bit more room. I could put a sweatshirt underneath and be able to layer because the weather does change on a dime here. So it'd be nice to be able to layer this layer under the jacket. It is kind of this camo style print and I love that it has the letters on the sleeve. It just adds that trendiness, that edginess. It does have a hood. And the quality, again, it's very weighted. It's very, very high quality. I also very much appreciate that it cinches in at the waist so that you can draw that in. It's not big and bulky and boxy. You can cinch it in and actually have a nice shape with a jacket. Like I said, I can't believe the quality of these pieces. Every single one of them is really nice. And I am so incredibly excited to have a high quality, stylish, trendy jacket for spring. So those are the five pieces that I added to my wardrobe from S. Deer. I I can't wait to go back on their website and do a little bit more shopping because the pieces are so fun and trendy. If you like black, neutral colored pieces, staples that you can mix and match with different colors if you would like or other neutrals, S Deer has you covered because most of their pieces are on the neutral side, which again is great to have a curated capsule wardrobe. S Deer was so kind to offer a discount for you. You can use the code GEN15 for 15% off site wide, or you can use the code GEN20 for 20% off all orders over $199. Have fun shopping, have fun looking around their website. You will not be disappointed with the quality. And again, just a reminder to make sure that you size up because it does, their clothing does run a little bit small, but I'm really excited to wear these fun camo pants and this adorable shirt today. So it's time for some breakfast. I am super hungry. So I'm going to make a scramble. I actually have some diced ham, so I'm going to do a ham and cheese egg scramble. So we'll do some diced ham, eggs obviously. I have some light shredded cheese from Trader Joe's and then I'm going to pair that with some blackberries. I've shared a few times how important it is to keep your fruit in mason jars in your fridge. These blackberries are two weeks old and they are perfect. It definitely keeps fruits and vegetables a lot longer if you store them in, black ma in mason jars. So I am going to put together my scramble Pair it with some fruit. It's going to be a high protein, good source of carbohydrate breakfast.
So here is my breakfast. This looks so good. So I ended up doing two full eggs, two ounces of diced ham, and two tablespoons of light shredded cheese. And then I did 60 grams of blackberries. I'll go ahead and put points, calories, macros here on the screen for you. Look at her. <laughs> it's like 80 something degrees and she's just happy as a little clam out there. I'm just finishing up my Motivate Amino, which is my post-workout recovery drink. And I have some very exciting news with Motivate. You know I love them. I use a lot of their supplements. I actually just stocked up. I'm heading to New Orleans next week, and I need to take my supplements with me. You know I take my Motivate supplements when I travel. So I picked up some travel staples, but they have a new product. And a new product that I am absolutely ecstatic about. Motivate now has protein powder and you know I live on protein powder. I use two protein supplements every day to reach my goal. So when I found out that they had a protein powder, I was so excited that I bought both flavors. So they came out with vanilla and chocolate. So one scoop is 100 calories, 20 grams of protein, less than one gram of carb, non-GMO, 100% whey protein. Really clean ingredients, very minimal ingredients. It does have natural flavor, which you're going to find in a lot of products, but it is sweetened with stevia. I am so excited about these. I haven't even tried them because I wanted to test them out with you. First impression, let's see how amazing they are. I have no doubt that they're going to be great because everything from Motivate is great. But for my morning snack, it is 90 degrees today. So we're going to make a protein shake. So I think I'm gonna do chocolate, I might do vanilla. We'll see, we'll head into the kitchen in just a moment for that. But like I said, I'm so excited that they have 100% whey protein. Oh, and side note, super, super affordable. And then I stocked up on some of my favorite to-go, things that I like to take with me when I travel. And I've shared these before, but I just wanted to remind you that Motivate makes full-size tubs of their burn, their no stim burn, their amino, their greens, but they also have little small packets. So not only is it a great way for you to try Motivate out, but if you travel, it's a great thing to take for traveling. So I ended up picking up a five pack of the no stim burn. So this is the Motivate Burn without caffeine in the shade in Miami Lemonade. So good. Tastes like legit amazing lemonade. I love these little packets because what I do when I get to the airport is I ask a restaurant in the airport to fill my water bottle up with ice and then I add in my favorite pack. And again, you can keep these in your luggage, in your carry-on, in your Per so I got the no stim burn and then I also got the burn variety pack Which is another thing that I really really like because you get five different flavors of the motivate burn So each day I can have a different one to kind of change it up and this is the one with caffeine So some days I want caffeine some days I don't so I made sure that I picked up both the regular burn and the no stim And then of course I grabbed the amino which is the post recovery which is what's in my water bottle I am doing a 5k on my trip. So I need a recovery supplement and this is the pineapple mango. So, so good. That's what's in my water bottle. I absolutely love it. So I grabbed a five pack of that. And then of course, of course, of course, of course, I had to pick up the Motivate Greens packet. I always like to take greens with me as well. It's something I struggle with, especially when I'm on vacation or out of town or out of my normal element. I don't always have greens available. So I always have a supplement and that's two packs of tangerine, two packs of peach green. So I'm going to take those with me as well. So again, the Sample packs are not only a great way to test out the Motivate products, but also take them on the go. I keep a few of these in my purse. If I worked a regular nine to five job, you can bet that these would be in my office desk drawer. So there's the sample packs and then let's head into the kitchen and try out the Motivate protein and make a protein shake. And as always, I will link Motivate down in the description box for you with 20% off. So I think I'm gonna do chocolate. I'm kind of feeling a chocolate mint kind of vibe for my protein shake. So we're gonna test out the Motivate Chocolate. I'm gonna have this one tomorrow, so I will put here on the screen what I thought of the vanilla protein as well, and we'll do a true taste test of the chocolate. So the first thing I'm going to do is measure out four fluid ounces or half of a cup of Fairlife milk. I have a half of a frozen banana. Peppermint extract, I'm going to just do a tiny bit. A little bit goes a really, really long way. 
and then one scoop of Motivate Chocolate Protein. I will tell you it smells very, very chocolatey. If I need more liquid, I always just add some water. I'm going to pop the lid on and blend it up. Okay, cheers. Let's test out the Motivate Chocolate. so good. It is so, so good. I put just the right, ama right amount of peppermint in there. The banana adds a little bit of sweetness, but the chocolate, it just comes through. It's a really organic chocolate taste, not a fake chocolate taste. I have no aftertaste of any sweetener. It's really, really good. I can definitely see myself putting this in my Greek yogurt, making protein pudding out of this, making protein shakes. 10 out of 10, really, really delicious. I will, like I mentioned, link Motivate down below with 20% off. Pick up the protein powder, amazing. A quick adventure out. I actually just finished a, co finished a coaching call. I have another coaching call in 20 minutes. I am getting another coffee. I am pooped. I was pretty tired after my workout and I'm just feeling extra tired. I was at my neighbor's last night for a little while for Easter. And so I went to bed kind of late. And whenever I go to bed late on a boot camp day, like a get up at 4 a.m., you have to get up at 4 a.m. day, I'm usually a little extra tired. So I definitely need a coffee. Right now at Dunkin', they have their cold brews for $3 for the month of April. So I ordered a cold brew with two cream and two sugar-free vanilla and extra ice. I love that I can get extra ice because you know how I feel about Dunkin' and the ice situation. And then I've got to run to the post office. I need to mail a couple bills and a package off. So I'm going to go do that. While I'm in the car though, uh, I wanted to give you guys a little bit of a, of an update, kind of a sad update actually. If you're friends with me on my regular Facebook page, not in my Facebook group, but on my personal page, you would have saw that my mom lost her dog on Friday. She, it was pretty sudden for her. And if you didn't know, my mom is all alone by herself and her little dog Lucy was her whole life. And so she's of course very devastated as you know I can relate to. So I've been like an overprotective parent checking in on my mom several times a day. I'm literally text her like three times a day. So I'm actually gonna text her right after this, but she's just devastated and she feels just really lost without Lucy. So we sent her flowers from me, Troy and the dogs. And I feel like every day she's getting a little bit better, but I don't know what is going on in the world, but it's just been a really rough go around with dogs. I mean, first our neighbor lost their dog a few months ago and then Lola's diagnosed with cancer. Then we lose Diesel. Then my mom loses her little Yorkie. Now Lucy was almost 14 and she ended up having a heart related issue, kind of like a congestive heart failure. It was really sad. And I mean, I'm sad for my mom because I know how much she loved Lucy. I loved Lucy. So I just thought that I would give you guys that little bit of an update. So if you have dogs, if you have fur babies in general, hug them a little bit tighter because I don't know what is going on in the world, but it has just been a rough go around with dogs. I have a pickup order for Jen Clayton. Okay, what's just coffee today? Yes, just coffee. All right. Well, okay, thank you. There's not a line for the first time in a million years. Like I'm literally pulling right up to the window. It is my lucky day. Hi, thank you. Have a good one. Thank you. Coffee in hand, medium cold brew, extra ice. Let's test it out. There is lots of ice in here. Super grateful for that. The only thing I have to count points and calories for is the cream. I usually count it as two tablespoons of half and half because I do two creams. I don't know exactly what Duncan puts in, but we know that counting macros and calories, even counting points, isn't an exact science. So for me, I count it as two creams equaling two tablespoons, and that seems to really work. That's actually really good, and I am not a huge cold brew person. I've actually shared that on my channel before. I'm just not super into cold brew. It usually has a weird taste to me, but this is really good. And I almost added an extra shot of espresso. I think I'll try that next time, but $3, you can't beat it. All right, post office check. I missed my coffee while I was in there. It is 10.50, I have 10 minutes before my next coaching call, just enough time to get home. And I got a notification actually when I was in the post office that Palmer's Bark Box will be here today. And you guys just love seeing that little turd get his Bark Box because 
he's pretty much the most impatient dog ever. So we'll do the bark box a little bit later today as well. I've even been thinking kind of about lunch and what I want to do for lunch. I'm going to wait till after my next coaching call. And then I have another one a half an hour after that, but that should give me enough time to eat lunch. I've been really into these little like adult Lunchables lately for lunch. So I think I might do that again. It just keeps me full and it gives me a good variety of foods, kind of like a snacky lunch. So that's what I'm thinking. So we'll see what ends up for lunch. Bark Box is here. Palmer's already at my feet. I don't think he quite knows what's here yet. They're both staring at me though. But this is the Bark Buster Movie Night Box. Okay, this is super, super cute. So, inconspicuously, let me try to show you first the baby. So, we have the Bark Buster. Oh, I know you see it. Just a minute, please. We have the Bark Buster VHS Tape. This is so cute. Just a minute, please. You need to learn patience. And then we have the Enjoy the Show popcorn bucket with a ball. Okay, that is super duper cute. And then you always get two toys, two bags of treats. Just a minute, honey. We have the Gobble Soft Bakes, which is a turkey treat. And we have the Clucky Chicken Treats. And then you always get a type of stick. Can you hear him? A little turd. There's two chicken sticks in here. So we'll give those to the dogs. And then you always get a little card that shows you all the other toys that you could have got in your box. So super, super cute. Um, Don't jump up. Just a minute. Honey, do you want to give him the popcorn bucket or the VHS tape? Oh, look at how cute the inside of this is. I didn't even realize that. Drool intentions. What? Okay, Palmer, mommy will decide. Okay, we're going to do the VHS tape, the drool intentions. Easy. Easy. Oh, look at that. That's a big toy for a little French bulldog. Palmer, bring it back. Let me see. Oh, yay! I don't care about the little toys, so I'm going to give her one of the chicken sticks. We'll do half of one. You can have the other half later, honey. There you go. Palmer, do you want a treat? Would you like a half a chicken stick? And then you can come back to your VHS tape. There you go, bud. So I just finished my third coaching call for the day. I have one left and I'm going to make lunch. Like I mentioned, I want to do kind of a snack plate. I'm going to use my Uba home plate because it has pre-portioned areas. You guys know I talk about this pretty much every single week. I eat off of these every day, multiple meals a day. If you don't like your food to touch, this is the plate for you. Plus it kind of helps you manage portions. This would be your protein. This would be your carb and this would be your veggie. So it helps with portion control. So I'm going to Put together my snack plate. I'm going to do half of a cup of cottage cheese, a string cheese, some fresh raspberries. For a crunch, I'm going to do cheddies. I really want my multi-grain crackers from Trader Joe's, but I'm out. I'm going to make a Trader Joe's run this week, so stay tuned for that in a grocery haul. But we're going to do some cheddies. And then for a sweet treat, I'm going to have one of these Navitas Organic power snacks. These are so good. Nice clean ingredients. They're 35 calories a piece and they're really, really good. So let's put together my little adult lunchable lunch. Alrighty. Here is my lunch. I can't tell you how amazing this looks. I'm super excited. So I have my string cheese. I have 50 grams of raspberries, half of a cup of cottage cheese, one serving of cheddies. This is what was left at the bottom of the bag. So we got a lot of little pieces and then my sweet, healthy treat for dessert. So I'll go ahead and put points, calories, macros here on the screen and I'll link Uba Home down below with 10% off. So I just completed Diesel's shadow box. I shared this with you guys in last week's What I Eat in a Day that I had purchased this beautiful shadow box off of Amazon and finally everything came in for me to complete it. So I have a picture of him. I have the lock of his fur from Lap of Love. I have his collar and then his paw print. I just love it. It is really, really nice quality. You can hang it on the wall or set it up on display like I did here. It just makes the perfect perfect memory and it sits on this little table in my living room so I see it every single day. I did link it in, I will link the shadow box right off of Amazon. I think it was like $25. I'll link that down below for you if you are in the market but it turned out absolutely beautiful and it makes my heart so happy. 
Also, I wanted to show you guys this that I ordered off of Amazon too. It says in loving memory of diesel 2012 to 2023. And it's a faux rock that you can customize. Again, super, super affordable. We did go ahead and put that out here in our yard, kind of next to our palm tree. Diesel love to lay outside and just enjoy the sunshine. So just another fun memory piece for him. Also, in-laws gave us this for Easter. Isn't this beautiful? It has beautiful tulips and it's such a cute little Easter bunny basket. I do need to take down my Easter decorations today, but I wanted to show that to you. In this little turd, yeah, you, we have another coaching call. So this is going to be my afternoon snack. I'm going to have a serving of these bada bean, bada boon. These are really good. They kind of remind me of corn nuts. It's 110 calories for an ounce and you're going to get six grams of protein. They're really, really good. So I'm going to snack on some of those. For dinner tonight, I am making chicken Alfredo spaghetti squash. So basically we're subbing pasta with spaghetti squash and I'm, I'm going to make a little bit extra squash because we love it. Parmesan and butter on it is so good. So let me show you what's in the recipe. You're going to need all purpose flour, low fat milk, salt and pepper. I will link my gravity fed salt and pepper grinders down below fresh Parmesan cheese, minced garlic. I made my life easy and bought the pre-cooked, pre-shredded white chicken from Sprouts. I actually had to buy a second one because somebody, not naming any names, Troy Clayton, ate a lot of this chicken. So I just went and bought a second one. Fresh parsley, lemon juice, shallots, light mozzarella, and then the recipe called for one medium spaghetti squash. And like I said, I'm going to cook up two so we have some extra. So I went ahead and cut the squash in half, cleaned it all out. I'm going to drizzle just a little bit of avocado oil into the middle of the squash. That's going to help it brown and keep it nice and tender. And then I'm going to add salt and pepper. It's going into a 400 degree oven until the squash is cooked. You'll know because it'll be browned and it'll look like little hairs ready to be dug out of the squash. So I'm going to get those in the oven while we put together the chicken alfredo. So I have a pan warming up sprayed with some nonstick cooking spray. I diced up about two large shallots. I'm going to add those to the pan and then I'm going to add a big scoop of minced garlic and we're going to let that saute for a couple of minutes. I'm going to add in two tablespoons of all-purpose flour and kind of whisk that in with the shallots and the garlic. And then I'm going to slowly add my two cups of milk and whisk as I go. We're basically using this as a thickener between the flour and the milk. We're going to let this simmer for about three to four minutes. I'm then going to add in my lemon juice, quarter cup of Parmesan cheese, and some salt and pepper. And then whisk in two cups of cooked shredded chicken. The chicken will warm through just by sitting in the homemade Alfredo. So I shredded one full squash into a bowl. I'm just warming up the chicken and the Alfredo. We're gonna mix it in with the squash and then I'll plate it up. We'll top it with some mozzarella and some parsley. So here is dinner. So this is the chicken Alfredo spaghetti squash. That whole bowl only makes four servings. So it is a big serving, especially for the points and calories. So I will go ahead and put everything here on the screen for you. So for dessert tonight, I'm having a serving of my Lesser Evil popcorn. This is our favorite. It's the Himalayan pink salt. And you actually get three cups for 120 calories, a couple grams of protein, some good fiber. So that is going to be dessert. Thank you for joining me for today's What I Eat in a Day on WW. I hope you enjoyed coming along with me today, seeing all the good food that I ate. Tonight's dinner recipe, 10 out of 10, recommend super healthy, low carb, absolutely delicious. Don't forget all of the recipes are on my recipe website, which I will link in the description box, along with nutrition coaching, links and discounts to my favorite things, links for everything I shared with you today, and my Facebook group, definitely come on over and join us there. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.